In this video, we're going to learn how to do a simple animation for the movement of the player. You will need a magnitude variable so that we know when the player is moving and when the player is not. I will link in the description the video that sets up the movement of the player. So with our player selected, the first thing we do is we add a new Playmaker component. And with that, we add Playmaker FSM. Then we can rename the Playmaker FSM to Animate Movement. And then the next thing we're going to do is click Edit. Now that we have our SM, FSM open, we can rename the first state to check magnitude. This is where we're going to check the magnitude and movement of the player and decide the actions to take from there. We're going to add a variable called magnitude and that's going to be a float which is going to be a copy of the magnitude variable from the movement FSM. We're going to add two events. One is moving and the other will be is idle. Once we have done that, we are going to add three new actions to each of the states. We've added a second state, and that state is going to be Animate Movement. This is going to be the state where the animation is going to play for the move. The check magnitude is going to be our default, which will be idle. So, we're going to add three new actions. The first action is going to be get FSM float. What we're going to do is get the float from the movement FSM and place it in our local magnitude variable so that we can check if the player is moving or not. So here we click on the movement FSM and the magnitude variable and store it in our local magnitude variable. And we do that every frame. We want to be continuously checking if the player is moving or not. Next, we add another action and that is going to be float compare. This is where we compare the float to zero to see if the player is moving or not. Now for this we select the magnitude variable, we compare it to zero and if it's not zero, either greater than or less than, what we want to do is add a transition to is moving and set the less than and greater to to is moving. and we want to do that every frame as well. Finally, we add one final action, which is going to be play animation. Here, we select the user and your, you select the animation from within the player. In this case, it's going to be looking around. So for when they're an idol, in this condition, they will just look around and we set that to stop on exit. You'll see me actually change that later on. Now if we select all of these actions and copy them, and then on the other state we add the transition is idle. And then we paste all those actions in, we leave the first one the same, we set the lesser than and greater than to nothing, but the equal to is, is idle because that's the player not moving and we select the animation to be run. 
Next, we join up each of the two states that is moving to animate and that is idle back to check magnitude. Now, we can arrange our windows again so that we can see this in action and check it's working okay. And here now you should be able to see the animation working using either the mouse, sorry, the keyboard or the joypad. There are actually many ways to do this, but this is a very simple way in Playmaker to show a simple movement. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe and watch some of the other videos that are upcoming or previous videos on other simple actions within Playmaker.